welcome back to Schools Out Fishing. We're just headed out of Sheboygan this morning. I'm here with my friend Stan Caldwell from Iowa. We're fishing in a 16 foot boat this morning and we're just about ready to head out past the lighthouse. Hopefully we can get him. Diver. All right, let's get set up. We're in about 60 feet of water. Stan, what's going on? I don't know. We got something. I think it might be a lake trout. I would guess. Yep, lake trout. All right. Not a big one, but it breaks the ice. Yeah, that's right. The skunk is out. Nice fish, Stan. All right, well, we were hearing some reports on the marine radio that the rainbow bite was pretty good out in deeper water. So we moved out from about 100 feet of water to about 250 feet of water. And the, the thing is that marine radio is so key. Here in Sheboygan, a lot of guys sit on channel 11 for talking. And I know that in other ports, some, you know, a lot of people sit on channel nine and then they switch to a, a talking channel. Channel nine is a calling channel and then they switch over to channel 11 or, or another talking channel. But anyway, what we have for a game plan this morning, now that we're in a little bit deeper water, targeting the rainbow trout close to the surface is we've got a three color board rod out on this side. We've got a downrigger down, you know, maybe 60 feet here, uh, another downrigger down 50 feet, and then a five color lead core here with bright colored spoons for rainbows, uh, orange especially. Rainbows love orange color uh, spoons. Um, and then right out the back, we're using that same rod that Stan built. Um, it's got that tab pole on it. I explained that in the last video that I made. Uh, check that one out if you haven't already seen it. But we're looking forward to catching some rainbow trout again. They're fun to watch, jump out of the water. There's probably gonna be some lake trout mixed in and some coho salmon as well. Maybe a stray king here and there. Stick around. Stanley! Wow, that looks like a nicer one, huh? Yeah, he's ripping! Ripping! Get him, Stan the man! Is that a big dandy coal? Huge! All right, that's a big coal, Stan. Yes, sir. Wow. Good eater. Pretty fish. Oh, downrigger, downrigger, downrigger! Better fish, too. A little better one, huh? Like the last one, you think? Yeah. Cool. Nice. He's bulldogging, Stan. Yeah, he's a bulldog. He's getting there. That ain't gonna hurt. Nice tail. There we go. Yep, four salmon. Oh, got it up. Oh, <laughs> that could have been. 
have been bad. <laughs> it's definitely not a salmon net, but it works. It works okay. <laughs> wow. Yeah, big fat coho salmon. Wow. This thing is incredible. Meet the priest. Okay, Stan. There we go. Yeah, that flasher's been the hot. What is that one. thing? What's that called, do you know? I have no idea. Well, that's what it looks like anyway. If you're going to the tackle <laughs> shop, looks like a little blue tinsel fly there. Awesome. All of them, all the fish so far came on that one rig. Beautiful coho salmon. All right, this one seems to be a bit better, huh, Stan? Yes. Big rainbow, I yeah, think. I would say, and he's back there a long ways. Excellent. Five color lead, so that's 150. Wow. He just ripped. And he took off good. I was thinking this slick spot, this right here should have some rainbows. Yeah, you can see really easily right here, those slick lines. I've talked about those in my videos before. You can see it perfectly right there. How the water has different densities at different temperatures. And when they smash together, it takes them a little bit to mix. So you'll see it lay flat right in there. That's perfect definition. You can see that very, very easily. Yep, here it comes. I'll have to pull this board off of here in just a second. Stan is gonna keep the line tight the whole time. Where is he, Stan? There he goes. Whoa! He's bulldogging again, he's out to slick. We're just going to make sure that this whole area, this corner of the back of the boat is clear so that we can net this fish very easily and have no problems at the back of the boat. Sometimes the fish do what they want anyway. That is a big rainbow stand. Hopefully it fits in here. Gopher out of his hole, Stan. Okay. All right. Easy, easy. All right. That's about as good as it could possibly be in that net. And the hook is and out. The hook is out. Beautiful on the hangover bait. Yeah. Excellent. Beautiful big rainbow trout, skamania, steelhead, whatever you want to call them, we got it. <laughs> awesome. Well, that'll wrap it up for us. We have four fish in the box and we lost two more. So we're going to wrap it up. Uh, maybe get something else pulling lines as always. Uh, but if not, it was a really great day on the water. And a fun time was had by all. Well, everybody but the fish, right? Yeah, right.